Hey there YouTube, uh, I recently upgraded my camera equipment so I'm hoping to uh, get back to making videos a little more often here and not having to fight my equipment so much. I'd hope my first video back would be a review of this uh, Singer 4423 that I've been uh, using for about a year to make my own gear and modify my own gear. Um, unfortunately yesterday I was working on a project that might have been a little too much for it but I think it would have been a little too much for any sewing machine and I managed to knock the timing off and again that was my mistake because I turned the knob and forced it when I shouldn't have forced it and that, I'll, get, I'll get more into that in the review. Um, but since there aren't any videos on there how to set the timing on this particular machine, um, I decided I would go ahead and make a video on it. It's not super difficult so I'm, I'm glad of that because I've worked on a couple other machines uh, in the past where the timing was a little bit off and just finding data on that was impossible. Thankfully this has a pretty good manual and the manual online was really straightforward so uh, without further ado let's get into it first take off the bobbin cover and remove the bobbin from the machine next remove the two screws holding the throat plate down Once these two screws are removed, go ahead and remove the throat plate from the machine and then take out the bobbin holder. You may have to remove the retaining plate or at least loosen the two screws in order to remove the bobbin holder. I went ahead and removed my walking foot as well. You don't have to do this, but I wanted it out of the way. Next, remove the tray from the machine. Now on the bottom of the machine, there should be two screws. Remove them and the cover plate they hold in place. Once you remove the plate, you should see a black gear with three Allen head set screws. Loosen the first screw and then turn the handle on the sewing machine towards you to access the next screw, loosen it, and the one after that. I had to go ahead and take mine all the way out in order to get the uh, feed hook to move at all. Next, move the needle to the leftmost position. Uh, you do this so that you know it'll pick up the thread when it, when the uh, hook goes by. If you were to set the needle in the center or rightmost position, odds are you wouldn't have the hook far enough over so you could start missing stitches when either you're zigzagging or using the uh, left hand stitch. Once you have the needle in the leftmost position, turn the hand crank until the needle bottoms out. Then turn it just a little bit more until the needle just starts to lift. Now turn the hook until the point is just past the needle and it's just above the eye of the needle. Once this is done, go ahead and tighten the three set screws in the black gear and reassemble the case. Test the stitches. And for everyone who sees the back side of this zigzag stitch, I did adjust the tension and get it right after filming. If you found this video helpful or informative, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember that knowledge is the only weapon that can't be taken from you.